Let's face it, when you guys think of hype sneakers in 2020, 2019, or 2018, most people instantly think of off-white sneakers. The off-white and Nike collaboration, the relationship they've had over the last few years has been insane. The hype that the Yeezy line once had way back when Adidas and Ultra Boost and Yeezys were at its peak, that's pretty much what off-white has been over the last couple of years. All that hype and momentum has really switched from Adidas and Yeezy to off-white and Nike. And let's Let's face it, there's been a lot of heat he releases over the last couple of years and uh, this pair right here this was not one of them, although I do think they should make some off-white air more up tempos. We'll save this for a review in an upcoming video on the channel, so subscribe if you guys want to see these up close and personal. With that said, this is my own personal off-white top 10 list, and if you guys don't agree with me, that is totally fine. This is a subjective list. I have my own criteria for it, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about the list in the comment section down below. But with that said, let's get started with number 10. Now, 2019, I want to say, it was not as strong of a year for off-white compared to let's face it 2017 or 2018 but there was some pretty solid off-white releases at the end of the year and the ones that made number 10 are the nike dunk low off-white red and gray colorway now as you guys know these sneakers released in a pack of three with the two other colorways and this is obviously my favorite colorway with red being my favorite color. Some people might think these were sort of lazily done. Uh, they really didn't switch up too much on these compared to the original, the 10 collection. But I gotta say, it's cool to see that there's finally a collaboration on the Nike Dunk. We don't see too many Dunk collaborations these days. It's usually uh, other sneakers. On to number nine, another sneaker that released in a pack as well. Not, not necessarily a pack, you could say a collection because they don't release them in like a box set of two. But my number nine spot would have to be the Nike Off-White Air Max 9. 90s in the desert or colorway now i love the black colorway as well but i feel like that would have been you know such an easy and predictable sneaker to put on the list the main reason i really like the desert or over the black colorway is because of the colorway itself this sort of brown weak color with the swoosh on the side really really pops these have no other like similar sneaker in the off-white nike collection so that's why it's at my number nine spot and i'm still hunting for a pair coming in at number eight is another sneaker that is also from another sort of pack thing one thing i've noticed is they keep releasing these off-white sneakers and sort of packs or sets where there's a alternative colorway available so like the desert or had the black counterpart the uh, grim reaper off-white blazers had the hollow eve counterpart and that is the number eight slot the nike off-white blazer hollows eve now this shoe was a fantastic alternative compared to the original off-white blazer because the prices on these are much much lower and the hollows eve man it's i want to say it's one of the more underrated releases from nike and off-white but yeah that's number seven and uh, you know what let me know the poll in the top right hand corner right now which version did you guys like better the hollows eve or the grim reaper for the number six spot i have to give it to the uh well it's not really a nike Nike sneaker is sort of cheating the list, but Converse is owned by Nike. And as you guys know, Off-White did collaborate on two different pairs of Chuck Taylors when it came to their collection of collaborations. And my uh, my number six spot is not the white pair with the horizontal or diagonal lines on the midsole. My number six pair would have to be these right here, the Converse Chuck Taylor from the Ghosting Pack. This pair from the 10 was actually the last one to release from the entire set. A lot of people were curious that they were gonna cancel the release because it released so far behind the other nine and the resale value on these is unprecedented. I was not expecting the resale for these to be as high as they are because when it comes to Chuck Taylors, for the most part, the collaborations don't resell for an obscure amount. But these boys right here, these bad boys, they go for a ton of money. I even did a vlog in Japan where I found these and they were at a resale store for like 2,000 US dollars, I believe. So I'll leave that link down below or a pop-up card right now. If you guys wanna see more Japan vlogs, let me know in the comment section down below where in Japan I should go to, Osaka, Tokyo, where would you like to see? These right here are one of the most uh, eye-catching off-white sneakers because these were much more limited compared to the other releases and you don't really see too many people wearing these shoes. So I actually wore this pair a little bit. They're very, very, very uncomfortable. Converse did send me this pair. So I got to give a huge thank you and shout out to my friends over at Converse. These sneakers also inspired me to up my sock game. So whenever I go to Japan, I make sure I pick up some fire socks. Anyways, let's get on to sneaker number five. My number five sneaker, I believe was was sneaker of the year at some award showcasing back when the original the 10 collection released and it has to be the Nike Air 
Presto Off-White, the OG colorway. They did release, again, two other versions, a black version and a white version. My favorite from all the Prestos, if I had to pick one, would have to be the OG Off-White Prestos. These sneakers are some of the most comfortable sneakers when it comes to hyped footwear. My buddy Legit Tim has a pair. He loves his pair. My friend Carlo Ople in the Philippines, he has a couple of pairs. His goal is to have 10, Um, so he, he's a madman. What can I say? But the Off-White Prestos, such a uh, great pair of comfortable hyped sneakers and at the same time they're a shoe because of the colorway you can wear as a daily beater and get away with it and you can beat them up and uh, naturally not care because they're not really going to show any dirt the, the black mesh upper is really cool the sort of off-white off-white midsole uh, also does a pretty good job at hiding or concealing dirt and uh yeah it's just one of the more expensive off-white sneakers so i have no plans to buy those anytime soon on to sneaker number four now sneaker number four i bought the poor man's version of it in japan because let's just face it sometimes you you accept the fact you're probably never gonna pay resale for a thousand dollar pair of sneakers it would have to be these right here the volt colorway Air Force One Low Utilities and uh, the number four spot is the Volt Off-White Nike Air Force One. Now these sneakers, I've seen them in person, both fake from Green Hills, shout out to my Green Hills vlogs, all my Filipinos out there and my people who like to watch bargaining videos in the Philippines. And I've seen them in real life in uh, in the flesh that are real versions, like at Cool Kicks LA, my boy Tim has a pair, I think even Carlo had a pair. So yeah, these are my poor man's versions because I'm not trying to spend too much money on some resale sneakers. But if I were to, they're gonna have to be the pair. The Volt Color Way is my favorite because you know doing a white air force one is, is sort of like on easy mode and then doing the black pair is just nothing too too special like sure it's a really great shoe but when you want to pay resale for a very very bold loud uh exciting pair of sneakers that volt colorway is the way to go in my opinion this is a shoe that will easily get compliments from everybody around you because it's so polarizing so neck breaking i even get lots of compliments on these shoes when i wear them and they're not heat or hype or anything like that although i did pay resale for these in japan if i were to have like a grail sneaker pickup for 2020 those will definitely be on my list in my top three all right on to number three now as you might have noticed there was a small trend in this top 10 list these are a lot of sneakers i don't really own sure i own the converse but that was like one out of the first seven i've shown you guys and there's only three more left well luckily enough i have a couple of these in the top three but before we get to the top three i want to give a quick shout out to the homie aaron haynes for becoming the latest channel member i really appreciate your extra support man thank you for also making this channel possible if you guys hit join down below you can support the channel a little bit extra and also have some exclusive perks for you guys like shout outs and videos like this and i have a sneaker sale coming very soon where you'll get first dibs on the pairs there so uh, stay tuned if you guys want to be part of that sneaker sale make sure you guys join my discord i'll leave it linked down below that said let's get to sneaker number three now my favorite sneaker of all time is the air jordan one it probably is for some of you guys as well so it holds a very special you know near and dear place to our heart so when virgil decided to collaborate with nike or jordan brand on the air jordan one you knew it was going to be some fire this this pair right here i do own and i'm very lucky to own because i got them for an insanely steel price so shout out to again my boy grant and number three pick is going to have to be the off-white air jordan one unc i uh, i don't wear these as much as i should i'm also going to start making these my daily beater i think that's what i'm going to want to do in 2019 wear these to the ground and then clean them up but uh yeah off-white uncs it took a colorway that wasn't really hyped the unc air jordan one and virgil did his signature touches on the sneaker and turned them into some absolute flames these are these are amazing i also get a lot of compliments when i wear these shoes both from of course sneakerheads but also non-sneakerheads just like random girls at the mall they're like yo your shoes are really cute who calls shoes cute bro these are fire these are dope. Don't call my shoes cute, girl. But uh, yeah, I have a lot of fun wearing these shoes. It's a sneaker that I, uh, or a colorway that I don't really necessarily have a lot of in my collection, this UNC or baby blue. So this is my number three pick right here, the Air Jordan 1 Off-White UNC. All right, on to number two, the number two Off-White sneaker in collaboration with Nike, in my opinion, would have to be the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Yeah, I, I probably triggered a lot of you guys out there. But the thing is, the thing is, doing a collaboration on such an iconic colorway, that is easy mode to me. That is that is super easy. I love the Chicago ones like most people do. Most people think it's the best Air Jordan 1 of all time next to the Air Jordan 1 bread. And if you were to do a bread Air Jordan 1 off-white, I'm sure people would love that as well. Like, it's hard to mess that up. It got number two because I thought, like, you know, 
I, I would have loved whatever he would have done to the Chicago one. Let's face it. I think most of you guys can agree with that sentiment. Now, I know some of you guys might put it at number one, and I totally understand why you would have it at number one. But in my honest opinion, I'm gonna have to put it at number two because my number one shoe from the Off-White collection with Nike would have to be the Off-White Nike Blazer Mid. The Nike Blazer is not necessarily a hypey sneaker or a hype shoe by any means. They never really release any cool collaborations. And so this was one of the very first collaborations that really, really broke the hype meter. The Off-White Blazer Mid is a sneaker that also has transcended in terms of uh, resale value. Not only that, I did pick these up for retail, so that's a big plus, but because these are such a wearable colorway. Like, look at this, just basic white and black with a little pop of orange. If you do end up paying resale or if you just end up wearing these a ton, you can get away with it. It's not gonna be like a sneaker that sort of takes away from your outfit or becomes a highlight of your outfit every single time you wear it. To me, the off-white blazer can be a shoe that you can make it your highlight of your outfit if you wanna throw on some crazy laces like the orange laces, for example. But if you wanna just be low key and use them as a daily beater, I enjoy having the white laces on because they are just more of a, more of a classy kind of shoe that you can rock with so many different outfits, especially in the streetwear sort of aesthetic. So I know, I know, I'm sorry. I might have triggered some of you guys by putting this at my number one spot and by putting the Chicago ones at number two, but that's just, that's my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out my February mall vlog showing you guys all the sneakers that are sitting at the mall right now. Again, I'll leave that link down below or in the card in the outro. And uh, yeah, we're back, baby. The YouTube grind is gonna be hard this year. So catch you guys in the next Next video have an awesome week and uh yeah my second channel will be making a comeback this week too so make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel sneaker talk 365 and uh yeah hopefully you guys have an awesome day peace out